Hi guys, welcome back to our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer version 5. And yes, we are near the end of our campaign of course, but uh, during that time when we end the campaign, I do want to have taken at least Baradur. Keep hold of Dolgador of course, or Amon Lank. And uh, yeah, hopefully like secure this area of Southern Mirkwood. So that the elves can take northern Mirkwood and we can be, you know, we can, uh, you know, spread the gap. Be in the gap between the Vale of Dorwinian over here and the Vale of Anduin all the way over here. Be part of that and spread a massive empire. And I think we've done very good for the good factions, of course. I do think, indeed, the good factions have done quite well in this campaign. So, uh, yeah, probably helped along by us, uh, of course. But... We are defending Dolgador now, so uh, let's go and have some fun, because it's very fun to defend Dolgador like we found out last time. Here we are, guys, and ready to scrap the enemy. And uh, looks like they're coming in slightly different way from last time. Now, like we did last time, I want to go and destroy those siege towers and... The uh, the ladders, although, is that all they've got? No, they do have a ram. So, like I say, we want them to come in with the ram. So, let's get all our men up on the top. Uh, we can't get them all over there so we can see what we're actually doing. And, uh, yeah, let's get these boys. Uh, although, it would be nice if those boys are there. To fire down into them when they come in. These guys can be the ones to fire at them directly. And then we'll have you guys on top of here. Hopefully able to fire down. Although, it would be good. Like, having some elves up here. Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. We'll have you guys there. Oh, I don't know why you're going around the tower like that. But a couple of you want to just look at the tower. Fine. But these two should be able to fire down at them when they're in. Hopefully the ram will come to this gate and we will send the Avari Naharim out of the gate ready to fight the enemy. We'll also have these guys up here ready to fire at them if we can. There we are. Uh, we don't have that many units to defend with, do we? Uh, in fact, we don't want to use the Avari Naharim for that charginess. So let's get you all over there and we'll send out two of these units to send there. Men of the Thorn, of course. We don't want Vinelord Swain to die, or whatever he's called, the Sun. We'll get you there to protect. You guys should be here as well. And then we'll get the Westron defenders in there. Unfortunately, because of the way the game works, these Westron defenders will likely get a lot of healing. And that's Pointless, but unfortunately, it's just to get the way the game works. Let's get that siege tower, get those ladders. Did they just drop the ladders? They did, actually. They just dropped the siege tower as well. In fact, you guys go over here. Mm. Hopefully, the ram. The ram's the main thing we want to aim at. So, yeah. You guys all the way over there. You guys into these guys. And hopefully they'll just focus on the ramp. Keep coming, men. And then we want to get into those Mirkwood Oryx. They've dropped the ram now. Good. Don't really want you to fire if you're firing up and over like that. They've got in there now. They've got in there. Don't want you to touch the ram at all. So let's come back inside. And we'll send... I oh, know they're still going with the Siege Tower. Who is it, though? Is it these Mirkwood Oryx? Because maybe we touch someone else. So we don't want to deal with that siege tower at all. So let's get out. Come on, the boys. There's only nine of you left. But uh, let's... Oh, the Avari Naharim are firing. Let's get you out. Don't really want you to fire up and over like that. Get you out. And yeah, we'll harry them. Let's come over here as well. So you're all going towards the ramp. 
Good. So as long as you are firing straight, I'm I'm fine with that. But they are Mirkwood Oryx, so we don't really want to deal with them too too much. Hopefully they'll turn around. But it looks like maybe not. Oh well. Is the gate open? It is. Right, get 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 back then. I mean we've kind of done their job for them then, I guess. Oh no! The gate remained open. No, 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 no. Oh well. Fire at the cell swords. Guys, guard mode, guard mode, guard mode, guard mode. Don't want you pushing them out. Come on. That's the one issue with this uh, shield wall shit. Get out. And we'll get you guys there. Uh, and you two are ready to charge in as well. Let them in. Let them in so we can fire at them. That's the main thing. Now, the rest of the army is all the way down here. So they are running up the hill as we speak, like they always do. <laughs> um, and then, how am I... Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Get out. They aren't Mirkwood Oryx as well. So... Yeah. Guys, just get out. Just get out. Get all the way down there. We'll let these guys skirmish with them if they want to be fools. Fine, that's better. So now, yes, now we can fire down at them. Same with you boys. Fire in there. Yes. Can you fire that way? I don't think you can. No. Not got anyone coming over the hill just yet. But when they are, you'll be able to kill them. Yeah, they're not very happy bunnies, are they? Good. And where's the other unit of cab? I mean, you're there. Oh, these boys. Uh, you can stay there for now. We don't really need you. It's fine. Also, I wonder if we could get... We can't get on there. Ah. Well, I tell you what. Get in there, my friend. I bet you can fire down into these boys very handily indeed. Where are you firing? Fire there. In fact, once... Uh, we'll stop you firing for now. Stop firing. And once the, uh, once the body of the men is in, we'll start you firing there. Where are you firing, man? Like, surely that's just killing more of our own men. Yeah, you can fire at these guys now. Fire over there. And then we'll probably try and get you... Oh, we can't actually go that way. Oh, that's so annoying. I want to go on there. Come on, man. These guys should be... Ch Absolutely chucking those. No? You don't want to chuck them? I forced you to chuck them. Chuck them! Come on, man! Chuck them! Yeah, that's better. Serious kills. Chuck. Chuck, men, chuck! <laughs> God, these units are, are not very happy, are they? They're getting absolutely shredded. If they had great beasts or something, it'd be great right now. Well, it wouldn't, but it'd be great to kill them, should we say. How is this guy? He's still coming back for more. Where is the other Avari Naharim? Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Right, well, let's get all these men together. We'll, we'll give them one charge and see whether it does anything. Problem is, they are spearmen. They are going to shred us, probably. So, yeah. Let's get the jabbies in there. Good. Have you used all your jabbies yet? No. Not quite. Looks like you're killing a few of your own men. I'm not going to lie. Where are you firing now? Just fire out there. Come on, man. There's plenty of people for you to fire at. Just fire. Oh, look. A killing field here. They've really not enjoyed that, have they? Well, now let's get you on guard mode. But let's move you back up the hill. Let's get these guys in here. This is a perfect spot to start firing at them. In fact, probably good if you guys come out of there as well. And we'll get the woodland elves in there. Is that not quite everyone yet? But we don't need to fire over the hill. That is everyone. Oh, they, they're so weak. There's enough. That they're they're going to be useless. Come on, fire in there, my man. Keep firing. 
This just feels so calm. Like, it doesn't feel like this is a problem or a challenge at all. <laughs> Dolgador is a very good defensible settlement, isn't it? I didn't think it was that good to start with. I don't know why, but I was wrong because it's very, very good. Right, you guys, you should probably be up here. Get you there. You guys, if you guys were, say, here, that would probably be a great spot for you. Oh, look at them firing away. Fire. Come on, men. Get behind that. Oh, kill these guys that are running through. Kill them. You guys get in there. Block this gap. Block this gap. Guys, run. That's not running. I feel like a lot of these like, shots are very close to the bone. Very close to friendly fire. Come on. Oh, guys, come on. Oh, whatever. Fire in there. Should all be able to fire still. Although these guys in the middle are not because of you. Oh, come on, men. Come on, men. Get running. They're trying to, like, shove their way through. Uh, still not under attack from those Merkwadorex. Looks like they've ran away. Good. Well, let's get behind them and give them something to remember. Or, well, I guess they'll die, so not remember. <laughs> Oh, you actually got there. Good. Now you can fire in there. God, they are just getting slaughtered. 17% allies killed, but it's mainly these boys. It literally doesn't matter. They're trying to fire some arrows back at us, but... Oh, well. Why are you shooting so close to our guys? I will never know. We're trying to charge down there. I don't think that's going to do anything. Right. Get in there. Get in there, my friends. Speed this up. We don't need to take so long on this. Give them a charge. Surely they're going to break now. Okay, back out. Now they'll break. Should have kept the cabin. Look how few men they have left. 96%. Is there anyone still standing? Who is not running away? Okay. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Sentinel's doing very well. Same as the Avari Shadows. And the defenders hardly did anything. It was just the archers. But that's what they're there for, isn't it? So, fantastic. I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. Good victory. Of course, we execute them. Orc scam. Once again. And uh, Dolgador's an actual decently rich settlement. Look at the devastation, though. I don't know whether that is devastation. Or whether that is just the campaign map look. I feel like it's the campaign map look. I feel like it always looks like that. But it could be devastation as well. All right, we'll accept that bride. Yeah, we, we really don't need to worry about this, do we? Like, this is... This is uh, easy mode. <laughs> At Dolgador defending. Unless they bring something crazily good. Then, uh, yeah. And we just have so much cash now as well. Get the militia garrison, just in case they want to. They keep attacking Tustore, so hopefully that'll. Well, it won't keep them at bay. I don't care about the emissary. The high elves, honestly, the high elves are slugs. Thank you to whoever, uh, whoever uh, pointed out that I forgot to build in Mornathel. Yes, ma I forgot to build in Mornathel. Right, Mordor. Mor oh, I thought I said Mordor capital. Then I was going to say, crazy. Oh, we've got some Avaris now. Glorious. Oh, glorious. We've got enough for some armies. And we've got you coming along. We do need a general in this army, though, because morale is going to be hard to come by when we start fighting um, great beasts and stuff, which undoubtedly all their armies seem to have great beasts now. <laughs> oh, dearie me. They love a great beast, don't they? They love a great beast. We're number one in production. Military, we're only seventh. Um, yeah. Well, let's keep spamming armies to try and get rid of some of our money. We'll have one of you. One of you. None of you. <laughs> Karasant. We've got a few more men. We'll get some more sword blade boys. Get some of you. Mornathel. Ah, oh, we're getting more Moriquendis in Mornathel. 
They might not even see action by the end of the campaign, but we'll give it a good old go. You're going to the store as well. Good. No way the great. What a man. He has been glorious for us, hasn't he? And uh, we are sieging down their doom stack in Logoth. Only three turns left. So I hope to... <laughs> to all that is good in Middle-earth, which, yeah, is us. <laughs> that they, uh... That they, uh, they will hold out until the last turn and sally out, and then we'll have such an easy victory. We shall destroy them. Oh, we're getting plenty of troops now. How about Athel here's rest? Can we train anything? We can retrain, though. Get some uh, retraining in there. Can't retrain all those boys. But, yeah, we are good. Oh, let's get the Avari Armory, although only 67%. But it's only three turns. That's fine. Uh, we should be able to recruit more Equendis from, from inside the lands of Mordor very soon. So let's go through our buildings then. Uh, Naburka, let's build something like the training post. Let's have a look. Everywhere's building pretty much. Ilanin. Let's go for that sheep farming. Try and get it up to 6,000. Uh, and then Dorthaloo down here. Get the paved roads. And Rawberg can't actually build anything. Poor Rawberg. Rawberg is just pointless, really. <laughs> I do feel bad for Rawberg, but... I mean, we could get attacked. We could still get attacked at Rohrberg, but... Yeah. Nah. Thor Lingvar. This is a very nice army as well. Very nice indeed. Led by our great Vine Lord, Vine Regent Harwin. Oh, so this is Vine Lord Swain. Yeah, Vine Lord Swain. Yeah, it is. Conqueror of Golgador. Golgador? Golgador. Gold 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 <laughs> You're going along. Just having a look for things. Same with you. Yeah, we were going to go see whether the Vale of Anduin still existed and whether we could ally them. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe they do. Maybe they don't. They did exist last time we saw them. I, I feel like they'll just be able to hold out their capital, mainly because of their skin changes. The skin changes are so OP in, um, in defense uh, against, uh, you know, the auto-resolve. So OP in the auto-resolve. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's see, but I, I doubt that uh, Dolgador has taken them out because, of course, the orcs are so bad in auto-resolve that, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good. So maybe they will have survived. I don't think they will have pushed out anyway, but Dolgador is getting weaker and weaker the longer they fight us. So, of course, that is going to play into their hands. And I don't want the Veil of Anduin for myself. The Veilsmen can have it. We are not skin changers, you know. It is their land. We are a good faction after all. Oh, we do have an alliance with them already. Nice. Let's have a look for map information, though. Generous, apparently, but we don't need any money. I'll take it. Well, they accept it. If... Is Lord Bjorn is still alive as well? What a man. And, uh, yeah, it looks very much like they just have this one settlement. Oh, dear Vale of, vale of Anduin. Vale of Anduin has gone to shit. Want a trade agreement with them? I mean, what what is the point of that? Oh, they took Karas Galathon back. Because they have an elite stack that they probably spawned in when they were under siege. Nice. Now, now elves, don't be dickheads like you always are and do nothing to help anyone else. And just think of yourself. Come on, elves. Do something. Literally, you have three elite full stacks that would munch. Probably one of those full stacks if you were the human player. Like this full stack. You'll probably beat three full stacks of Dolgador trash. Easily. <laughs> but yet the AI will not use them. Come on, AI. Do something, man. You've got some serious, serious units there. And you do not want to do anything with them. So, Mornithel, we got some Avari boys. Yeah, we're getting a lot of troops now, aren't we? I don't think we need to send any more down into the south of Mordor anymore. So, let's go up to Santan Wee again. Let's make sure we are retraining these boys when we can. Get the extra armor upgrades. You boys can now come across as well. Same with you. 
anything else to train? No. Anything else to train here? No. What about Mornithel? No, of course not. How about in Santanui itself? No. Oh well. That's fine. Anything else to train in Avalon's Rest? Oh, here's Hello Mordor. Some more men you're sending, it looks like. No, we just need to retrain there, really. Let's go. I mean, what is that? I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the army we've got here. We don't have much cavalry, but... I mean, if Gan Alton wants to come and attack us, fine. I feel like we've got enough to beat them. I'm happy with all these peasants in the city as well, because if they want to siege the city and attack it, I feel like we'll be fine. Uh, so, Enmahalf. We are still waiting for a general there. That's the main thing. So, Bert Emerikis. Ooh, cattle farming. I didn't even realize we could get this building. <laughs> We've got the trader exchange as well. I mean, plus 100 gold is nothing to sniff at. Plus the population growth. Bert Emerikis is a nice little town. Mataram got upgraded to the large town. Now it's a Northman town as well now. So, not an, not an eastern town anymore. Nice. We got the market in there. Good. Viltor got the tomb. Probably worth getting the military garrison. Uh, actually, no, no, it's definitely not. Let's not get that. Let's get the herbalist instead. Athel here's rest. Got the thorn armory. Let's go for the Avari barracks. Anyone to retrain? Just those. Uh, let's go Burr Southis. Got the tomb. So, probably worth getting here the land clearance or something. And Tostore got the chicken farming. Yeah, we're getting that. Uh, Tostore was just doing that. Don't care about that mission. Right, let's uh, siege down Dorlingvar. Should be nice and easy. Good. Uh, Logarth still sieging down. Two more turns. No way, my man. Where are you? There you are. No way the great. What a man. Still a lot of turns before you can get to the Black Gate, but... Oh, well. I mean, it's just annoying we don't have a general there. I mean, we probably could take them on anyway, but... It's worth waiting for the general. Uh, yeah, we moved all the troops we wanted, haven't we? Good. Good, good, good. Everyone moved. Move, move, move. Move, move, moved. Moved. Dolgador... Still building that tomb. Only on 24% Northman. We need to get the Thorn Barracks next then. This spy. Yeah, we can come and have a look at Aknod Yorn. How about... Uh, what's this one called? Kere... Keleth... Keleth... Kelethon or something like that? Around here? Let's go and have a look for it. I can't remember what it's called, but... I do like the Elves of Lothlorien, one of my favorite factions, so I should remember it, but uh, <laughs> I can't. It's <laughs> been a long time since I've played them. Dale, as well, is a fantastic faction. Uh, really fun faction, in fact. And it's, it's quite weird, because it, it shouldn't be as fun as it is, Dale, but it is. It's just a fun faction in general. Great units, great fun human units. And you fight, like, both the Easterlings and Dolgador, like we are doing as Dor Dorwinian. Uh, but it's only humans. No no elite elves to uh, to do anything. But I do love their unit roster. It, it's a really fun roster. Um, yeah. So I do like them. But I, I don't know who my favorite faction would be. I mean, Mordor is fantastic. I love Mordor. Uh, the men of Dunland are not happy. The One Ring is in Goblin Town. Good lord. We could even go and get that, you know. <laughs> we'll take it for ourselves, men. Take it for ourselves. Uh, we can't get the Mori Quendi in here yet, so we might as well go for that. Santan, we got the tomb. Yeah, let's get the hero shrine. Look at that morale bonus and everything. That's great. Carverad got the sheep farming. So we could also go for the cattle farming here. All Northmen. Let's go for that. Uh. Why did I do that? Go for the sheep farming. Elgaia got the sheep farming. <laughs> Could also go for cattle farming there as well. I mean, it's probably the only real option. Mistrand got the dockyard. Let's go for the... Probably the farms is the best option here. Alwis, what a man. Look at him. There's all Northmen now. Go for the farms. 
Uh, more money. Buralga got the military garrison. Let's go for the Thorn Barracks. Dolgador got the tomb. Do we want the hero shrine? I mean, we can now get catapults. But let's go for the Thorn Barracks, though, and actually start building up some of our own military buildings. Mornithel has got some Moriquendis. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Anything... Moriquendis. Oh, some Avaris. Nice. Good. We don't need to put anyone in forts. Don't need to worry about that anymore, do we, guys? <laughs> we got some cash. We got some serious, serious cash right now. Really don't need to worry about too much. Uh, and I feel like... Oh, this is going to be another pretty full elven stack. Nice. <laughs> so they have surrounded us. Hmm. Let's go here. And, yeah, let's have a look at what we can do here. Well, let's join up many of the men into this army. How many more can we get? With those... Uh... Oh, Avari Naharim, definitely. There we are. Good. And... Let's have a go at these, shall we? Because I don't think the other army is going to come in if we do that. No, they're not. Well, let's uh, swap out the general into there. So you go across there for someone who's terrible, like the crossbows. There we are. Good. Right. I think we go and have a go at Lagaran. Uh, Ganal- sorry, Ganal- oh, we can't. Wait, we can't! Are you kidding? After all that! <laughs> Come on, man! How have we not got the movement? Oh, it's because of the general, isn't it? Nah. Oh. I mean, the rest of you have movement points, but I can't use it now because you're locked. Oh! God damn it, man! <laughs> That's so annoying. But oh well. I mean, we'll be able to absolutely ruin them. Let's just check. We're building everywhere. Good. Right. Uh, what else do we have to do? I mean, we've got this. Don't think we need to worry about that. 147 men we lost. Unfortunately, a lot of the time it comes out of... The oh, come on. The Moriquendi protectors. It always comes out of the units that you have at the front of the army, so... Should always try and put the uh, the worst units at the front, but we didn't do that. Oh well, brawler's pit. We don't need that. We don't need the beast cage. Take the blacksmith. Chieftain's hall. We'll take that. We'll take the hunting lodge. We don't need the wag breeder. Don't need the archery range. Can have the catapult maker, and we'll take the way station. Right. Let's build the tomb. And. Let's leave behind, say, like, some Thorn Bladesmen. How unhappy are you? Very. I'll just push them back. Oh, they're going to take the fight. They got trolls. Well, let's do this fight. And uh, let's see how we do. Should be uh, relatively straightforward. But uh, let's see. Here we are, guys. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, they did take out some of the uh, Mori Quendi protectors. But, oh, well. And I think we can force them into action here. So let's get our men in a big line. It's a very big line. <laughs> uh, like I say, I think we can force them into action here. By skirmishing with them. Vine, uh, Vine Lord, Vine Regent Harwin, get there. Cavalry will keep you behind for now. And uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, where are they? They're up there. Good. Let's go. And let's get the rest of these boys. Big line. Oh, quite far back, actually. Let's go. See if we can get them. Uh, you boys. Oh, you're not cavalry, are you? Keep thinking you're Edward in. No, you're not Edward in. They're going for the, the, the ground at the top of the hill. Uh, let's make sure you guys are on fire at will. You are. Right, well, if they're going to do that, really 
Couldn't care less. We'll get you guys off that and start running. You guys need to fire at the trolls. You get there. Cavalry on the right hand flank. And we'll get the Avari Naharim to go and start firing at the trolls as well. Here they come. Interesting. So who are they going after? The Bladesmen. Right. Where are these boys? Get your javies into them quick. Because I think we'll absolutely shred them. Get the javies in them. I feel like the javies are going to kill them pretty easily. Right. Start firing at some of the Orc Maulers. You guys get that down. Get that down. Wait. Why do the men of the thorn... Why do the Thorn Guard look... Oh, because they've got gold armor upgrades now. Oh my god, they look amazing. I'm not expecting that. Javi boys, have you fired your Javis? Yeah, they've lost quite a few already. Let's go, Iron Fist. Come on. Javis. Tell you, fire them. And you don't listen. Right, we're all good. Where's the Moriquendis? Where are you? Oh, you're here. Let's get that. Oh, God, the general's already dead, man. <laughs> Looks like they're going for the fight. Let's get that. You guys fire there now. Right, cavalry. Time to get you around the side. Or should I say the flank? <laughs> The Thorn Guard look amazing with the gold armor. And so do the Darwinian Swordsmasters. Wow, they look great. How about... These guys haven't got the gold armor yet. So they unfortunately don't look any different. But... These guys look great as well. They look so much better with that gold armor. Look at that. Oh, they look fantastic. I didn't even realize. I guess there's... It might be the first time we've seen them with that gold armor. Who's got the Javi still? You guys come round. Where's me archers? You fire there. Where's the Avari Naharim? Get you round as well. Where's the Cav? Well, do you guys look different with the gold? Yes, you do. Wow. Yes. Oh, our army is like nearly full gold. Gold boys. That is glorious. Fire at them. Oh, these poor, poor fools. Think that they can outmatch us. Camel's Shadow Guard. Trying to have a bit of a fun with our, our golden boys, as we like to call them now. The golden boys. And they're broken. Right, back out. Where is their army gone? It looks like it's just melted. I mean, it has melted. Where is it? 65. Is this it? Is this the rest of them? Is that all there is? It's not very many, is it? All right, let's have a look. Uh, where's the Avari? What's over here? You guys should chase down. Oh, that's the that's the enemy. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me, orcs. You never fail to amaze me by how shit you are. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Gordon Ramsay reference. If anyone knows it. Oh, it's, it's actually surprised me, isn't it? I think he said surprise me. You never fail to surprise me. By how shit you are. But that guy that he actually says that to actually went on to win that season of Hell's Kitchen. So I, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So I guess he wasn't that shit after all. But yeah, we've, we've killed enough now. Good. Those golden boys though. The golden boys. The golden... Legions of the Vale of Darwinian. The Golden, the Golden Legions of Darwinian. Glorious. I will see you back on the campaign map. The Golden Armies of the Vine Lord. There we are. That's a better name for it, isn't it? The Golden Armies of the Vine Lord. Let's execute all those boys. Fortunately, we're going to have to go back into Dor, uh, Dorlingvar, but. Uh, the Golden Armies of the Vine Lord were victorious. What glorious armies that we have. I mean, not many men around, is there? Come on, have a go if you think you're hard enough, mate. Which you're not. So, uh, yeah. Right. Well, let's uh, stick a watchtower here because 
Yeah, we can't really see that bit of Tostore. Also can't see this little bit, but whatever. Got all you guys moving. And we can't do that battle. Well, I think we're going to end things here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And uh, yeah, next time, I'm going to keep pushing into Dolgador. We've taken Dor Lingvar now, so I wonder whether Austin Gale is still Dolgador's. Probably. So we'll probably go after that. And if we do take that, we will have leeway then to move our army out of here. Go and take Roscobel. Don't want to go any more north than Roscobel, so that'll be slightly annoying. Hopefully, the Vale of Anduin can come and take that. Uh, and we can take these lands out here. While Norway the Great... <laughs> Norway the Great, guys, goes and takes the Black Gate. Norway the Great takes the Black Gate. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I will see you all again on the next video.